Hello my Jojos! Okay, so I am doing a project currently in one of my classes called Eval. Yeah, that's a fun one. And we're doing social media. In particular, we're doing whether or not college students actually believe that social media is still considered a form of recreation. Because that's my major, recreation. So. I was actually very surprised because we had our focus groups this week and I had them define recreation and then I had them define social media. They used the word outlet in both definitions so that it became cohesive and I wasn't expecting that and it just got me thinking about social media as a whole and how weird it is. Honestly, it's really weird. I'm 21. I'm older than social media. I'm. I'm older than Facebook and MySpace, I mean, my parents didn't have this. I have friends in Russia and the UK and I'm excited, I've, I've literally met people across the globe because I met them on social media through this awesome website called YouTube and I mean, it's weird to think that in 2003 MySpace started and I didn't get one for at least three years into that because I was a hipster even back then and by, by hipster I didn't get one because my parents wouldn't let me so I acted like I didn't want one just like I didn't want an email account and let's be honest I shouldn't have had an email account when I was in middle school because I got cyber bullied so hard and then everybody switches over to Facebook in 2005 and I'm just like still over in my space going but I can customize this one and yeah and then I hit high school and I was over on MySpace and I was changing my profile picture every day and actually giving people updates on my status and my life and then, then got to call it and I'm like, I'm gonna post pictures and that's all you're getting from me. Music videos to my mom and that's about it. And then I discovered Tumblr and that's like, oh that's funny, I'll reblog it. Oh that's funny, I'll reblog it. So my Tumblr is not something in particular. It's like somewhere between fandom and fussy animals. <laughs> I had a Twitter in high school, but I never used it because it was just like, it had such a negative stigma about it. Like, it was all the people who were like, I can't think past 140 characters. And actually, it's really hard to think in 140 characters. To minimalize your words down to that small amount and still get what you're trying to say across, people who can tweet well do that very well. People who can't are just like, her, der, I'm the menaced Twitter account. And then of course last year, which is pretty dang close to a full last year, I started my YouTube account and I met so many people in such a short amount of time who do the same thing and enjoy what I do and it's kind of amazing and I'm super excited about this, but like, I can, I can literally measure the history of social media in my life. It's like, we didn't start the fire on computers. I just, I had my mind blown this week, so I wanted to share that with you guys. And I want to hear your stories, like what was going on in your life when you were getting like your email accounts and your IM accounts and then your Facebooks and your MySpaces and like, let me know. I want to hear these stories because don't forget to like, comment, share, click, subscribe, and I will see you guys next Saturday. Bye!